Hello everybody and welcome to episode 75 of Let's Build Minecraft. But you weren't expecting to see me in a desert, were you? No, that, to be honest, the desert is about the last place I thought I was going to build next. But here we are. Uh, for those of you that haven't kept up or don't know, I recently lost my previous project that we were building on. Lost the hard drive, lost the world file. Uh, or at least lost the update up after uh, all that progress had been made. And I've really been battling for the last uh, few weeks to figure out what the heck to build next in this world. And today, uh, inspiration just hit me in the face like a wet sock. So uh, I'm in the desert. And and for those of you that that know me, you know that I like to come up with some pretty interesting themes uh, heavily themed build, so I think you're gonna like this project. Uh, there are some villages over there. In fact, there's two villages and a temple over there. I just went over there. There wasn't a whole lot. Um, that's about what I grabbed from it. Eh, whatever. Um, I've transported my stuff. Wow, uh, this is really loud for me. Probably not for you, but, um, yeah. I've transferred all of my goods. Got lots of stone. Uh, from the other place and we're ready to build. So how's everyone doing? I got quite a few new um, subs from the newest tutorial that I put up. Welcome to everybody that is new to the channel. As you've probably figured out, this is a building focused uh, channel and uh, series. And this is where I do a lot of my work, this world right here. So we're building a town and let me kind of paint a picture for you. The idea behind this town is that uh, there was once a civilization here built out of stone and the shifting sands of the desert have slowly covered the city. The city has been faded away, is a bit in ruins, but the people have not moved out. They still live here, but to prevent their buildings and their homes from getting covered by sand, they now live in, uh, you know, more of a, a nomadic style. They live in tents, so if, if they need to, they can relocate their house. So there are going to be two phases to this, uh, to this build, and I'm going to do a, a building of each, I think, today. So there's going to be the ruins that are covered in sand, and there's going to be the newly inhabited tents. So... I've got a few ideas. Let's grab some building materials. And you know what? I realized that I really wanted... I shouldn't have put my stuff so far away because I think I want to build right over there. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I realized that I really want cracked brick to go with this. Cracked brick. I don't know. It looks dry to me. Like like it, it, it belongs in a desert or something, right? Am I the only one that thinks that? Well, I'm going to get some cracked brick because I think that will go well with what we're doing here. Um, I'm going to need some coal. We're going to do a lot of building on camera today, I think. So uh, typically, I like to start my my towns with, with the entrance. Um, and I also like to start my buildings in a fairly simplified form. So we're going to go ahead and build a couple of 4x4 four four towers. And that's a pretty odd size for me because that's working in evens. I don't work in evens very often, but here we are working in evens. Uh, really, it's because I, I wanted a, somewhat of a tower here with a, you know, a gate-like thing in the middle. Um, five is just a little too big. And 3x3, three three, that just leaves a 1x1 one one interior, so that doesn't make a whole lot of sense either. Uh, I already gotta go back for more stone. So it's not very often that I build like this. Uh, by this, I mean a very cubic structure. Most of my builds have a lot of depth and, um, you know, not hyper detail, but they're usually... Uh, pretty pretty detailed you know as far as survival building goes um so this is almost a little bit of a new style for me 
Um, oh, I gotta go back at walls. With this being a very cubic structure though, I feel like I definitely need to find something to compensate for that. That thing here is gonna be these jagged rooftops. We can just top these off like this, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. Um, we can put a light up here, I suppose. Let's hide it right there. We're using shaders so that could look really cool at night, having that up there. We can even let it get dark so that we can see. And then another thing is I said start simple. So this is not a building. Uh, this is, you know, <laughs> excuse me, I, I forgot to breathe. This is a skeleton of of a building. So what I'm going to do to make this very boring structure a little bit more interesting is just mix up the blocks. Everybody knows how to do this. I'll just fly through it. And we still want to give it a little bit of depth. So let's go with some windows. And this actually kind of works nicely with the um, with the even number uh, build. Uh, these windows, just like this, it makes them towards the center but not perfectly centered. And, you know, that makes it interesting because there's not very many ways to achieve that in Minecraft, uh, getting, you know, something like that. A couple more things that I think are really important when you're building something like this. Little details like this. So we can, uh, that should be able to go on top of there, yep. And then we can put buttons on here. A little bit of contrast. So, like, the wood and the stone doesn't make a whole lot of sense structurally wise. Like, I mean... Maybe if it were concrete, uh, I don't know why that why there would be something like that though. And then what we can do is shovel out in here, and we can put a door there. Uh, yeah. By making this buried, we get the idea. Hey, this structure is buried in sand, like. That, that's just kind of like indicating that for us because it's kind of hard to portray that uh, with this. Now, this is a taller structure with houses. We'll be able to like make only the roofs peeking out. So we'll really get the idea of it. Um, but this is only one side of it. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing uh, over here, basically, except I might vary the height. These are ruins. They don't need to be symmetrical. I might have this one like a block higher or something um, and mess it up just like this one. When you work in all these little details, it helps, but it still doesn't look good to me. I added in some banners and stuff, by the way, a little bit of color. You know, I've been in the past, I've almost been afraid to add um, like a lot of vibrant colors to something very monotone like this, but you know, using it right definitely works. Uh, but yeah, environment is like the number one thing. Another one over there. Did I already mention that? <laughs> There's one over there and one over there. Um, the environment is so important for every build, I think, but especially like this one because in planes, th that's just like that's almost like default landscape, right? Planes, like everyone can build in planes, but when you're in the desert, you don't just build in the desert. You gotta incorporate techniques in your environment. You have to put the terrain into your into your build and the with the sand being part of the theme um piling up we really need to capitalize on that so there's a few things that we can do i have some grass here and i'm just going to lay this down and we're going to turn it into path blocks and uh i think it goes really well with the uh with the color of the sand and not only does it give a good color it gives depth just a tiny little bit of depth to the ground and perfect. I wish I could pick up the, the uh, sand so that it wasn't in our view, but already much, much better. Now, there's still a few things that we can do. Uh, I talked about this at our orc stronghold with um, snow drifts. We can do the same thing with sand. We don't have the perks of having layered snow, but we can still go ahead and do something like this. Now, keep in mind, if you're doing something like this, um, and it covers the window, so there's another, well, that blocks the light. Because you should be able to see a torch in there. Why can't I see anything in there? Is that a lighting glitch? Hello? Uh, right there. Yeah, see, we should be able to see in there. There's a torch right there. Anyways, uh, if, if you're going to make snow drifts or something, or sand drifts like this, 
Um, keep in mind, that a lot of places, the wind blows from one direction, or typically does, or at least where I grew up it does. Um, so I like to make my snow drifts on one side of structures instead of on all sides. You know, that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. So if we have it coming, going this direction that I'm facing, that means that we can have another snow drift right here. And we might even want to move this door over to this side because I'm not going to do that. And my other option is, I guess, like this. And that could work as well. But we can do that on pretty much everything that we build, except for the tents that we're going to build that are temporary homes. Because I, I started doing that when I was like testing around on this theme. And I was like, wait a minute, that's exactly what they're trying to prevent. Another thing that I'm going to do is work in a little bit of vegetation. We are in a desert, but leaves go a long way. So we're going to use them. Um, make them look kind of sporadic. I'm using these to look like uh, parts of the plants. Just like that. I'm not sure that I want this one here though. I don't have my axe on me. So I'm just going to have to do it this way. These leaves look really well, really good in the desert. They look really well. Yeah, okay. They look good in the desert. And that should get the point across. I wonder if we could even mix in some sand in there. So there's like sand in between. Like that. Eh, we could get away with that, I think. I don't know if it's the best thing, but we can get away with it. And then if I can find more of these guys, I would love to use them. Can I just grab you? Do you need Silk Touch to grab you? Oh no, you do. Uh, I have Silk Touch on me. Oh wait, what? Can you not gather them? Oh, do you need Shears? Or can you not get them at all? Maybe you can't get them at all. It might be shears, but I don't have any iron on me at the moment, so I'm not going to worry about it. Another thing that I'm going to do that's going to help with the environment, and I do this, I use these walls pretty much every build that I do. If if you've watched me do a build before, you've seen this wall appear before. I love everything about it, um, how cobbled together it looks, and, and the height variation, and it goes really well along pathways. So we're just going to throw this down. Um, sure, something like that. And then we're going to put sand alongside it. Again, from the side that the wind is coming from. This is holding the snow, uh, not snow, the, uh, the sand back from getting on our road over there. And once again, we are going to build in evens, I think. So, um, let's put four in between these. This is the corners of our tent. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's actually make this side odd so it's longer than it is wide. And something like that. Now, these colors I'm using um, don't really matter. Uh, just like this, I'm going to make it simple and use the same color for everything. So let's go like this. Um, and I'm going to... Wool is hard to build in. Uh, a lot of people just make like a triangle and call it a tent and we're not going to do that. That doesn't quite cut it for me. So these are going to act as stakes. Put them right here. We can even vary the height in them so, uh, so uh, a few of them can be taller than the others. So you know it, it's more makeshift. It's like hey they made this tempor for a temporary reason. Um, the doorway can go right here. And and it gives some structure to this. So it doesn't look like it's going to blow away. It does look like something that people can live in for a good while um, before they move it. And then we're going to go up here. And by the way, the colors I'm using are uh, completely arbitrary. I will probably use different colors for all of them. I'm probably going to try to keep to... Uh, fairly neutral colors so I use green here and then the cyan just pairs really well with the green uh, okay let's just put that there see how well that goes together uh, try not to make a checkered pattern perfect and then I'm just gonna go in and swap in some green 
Now, like I said, wool is difficult to build in. It got easier when they changed the texture of it, but it's still, it's, it doesn't, it's bright and colorful and most buildings aren't bright and colorful. So therefore it just doesn't look right to me. Um, that doesn't mean that there aren't ways to fix that. Ooh, let's get these back. Of course, I don't have my axe on me. I think I would just save time by putting it on me. Wow, look how much faster that was. So I do have some tricks for making this look a lot better. Um, number one, we are going to mix in some colors just like this, our browns. Um, and the biggest thing is going to be putting carpet over it. Now, it doesn't have to go on top of opposite ones. We can do like a blue there and there, there. Really, to, the, really the point is to, um, one, give it a different colored top. So, so it's not green, green. We can have green, blue. But also the depth, um, the texture is going to help a lot. So we're going to go over the whole thing in blue, just like this. And this is going to use a lot of, a lot of wool. I should probably get a, get a few sheep out here because we're going to have a fun time running back and forth. And then we're going to do the exact same thing with this. Uh, yeah, just like that. It's, it's almost hard to tell where I've done it and where I haven't. Uh, and then uh, there are plenty that I don't want to put them on um, to get that up and down feeling. And if I missed a big spot, I'm not seeing it. I think that should work. Let's cover this in. We're going to be a lot, doing a lot of terraforming because terraforming is so easy with sand. Like, you don't have to worry about stone or grass looking right. You just got to lay down some sand. So, we look at this. And I like it. Now, there are even more things that we can do to fix it. Um, let's get our banners back. I'm actually going to raise this one up again. Let's put trapdoors on top. And let's put some flags right here. Now you might notice I've I've focused a lot in the past about how defensible a city or a castle is. We're really not going to have that here. So I don't know, maybe we can work that into the city or into the story. Or maybe, you know, people just don't come through the desert. So they're not so worried about it. But anyways, just like uh, this, we can spruce this up. We should not have a single building just sitting on the sand. That is not acceptable in this build, if you ask me. So we're going to bring a path of grass out to it. And you know, the grass itself looks really good um, out here. So we can maybe find a way to have the actual grass without having to do some of that little, little deal right there. Um, but we also, now like I said, I'm not going to do a drift on the actual temp, or tent because that's the point of having the tent so it doesn't happen. Um, so what could we do? Well, we could do the thing with the vegetation. Um, let's just put one like that. And it doesn't have to have the stick. And then I like to have some of them floating. Like, it doesn't need to be a mass. We can definitely do something like that. And it looks perfectly fine to me. Now the insides, I'm not usually an interior guy, but we could definitely do the insides, I think, fairly easily, because they're so small. Um, so I'm going to use this to store my bed in, at least. Um, I don't know if we're going to want to fill in these with, you know, maybe a combination of chests or, well, chests we couldn't even access, so maybe we just want to fill it in with wool. But we'll... We'll probably, we could change the floor type to wood, I guess, maybe. Um, maybe a mixture of wood and dirt, so it looks, or wood and sand. Like, birch wood and sand could look real cool. Um, it would look like, you know, sand gets in all all the wooden planks and stuff. Let's try that out. 
For anyone that's new, I have edited the texture pack a little bit. Birch is one of the things that I've uh, edited. The texture itself is still the same. I've just changed, uh, made it darker because it's so clean, like white. So I, I changed it and paired the hay blocks along with it so that they match a little bit better. Um, we're probably not, well, I guess we could probably use hay here. I mean, I don't know what these people are eating. What would these people be eating? Fish? <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make any sense. We're in a desert. Because I, I started thinking about the river that goes through here, but I don't know. I wonder what, I, I should do some research on what like Egyptians used to eat way back in the day. Put some birch out here as well. I don't know how much make sense it makes. Like, like sand is al always blowing over it. I don't know why you had to have wood out as road, but it looks good. I think I think maybe like it's like a temporary road. Like people are tired of stepping in sand and their foot sinking down, so they want a harder surface. So they put down a wooden surface, and sand just keeps flowing over it. That's why it's not all wood. Um, so I think it does work out when you think about it, but it also looks good. So that's pretty much it for this episode, everyone. I really wanted to get down the theme of the environment, theme of the the buried city, as well as well as the tents. And I think we did that. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's just add a little bit of vegetation over here, and let me know other things. I'm I'm really interested in other things that we can do for the environment. You know the the buildings, there's only going to be so much that we can do with this. This is going to be a pretty short project, I think. I mean, the tents, the tents are all going to look very similar. This stuff, I can get a little creative with it, but, you know, the the overall build isn't going to be huge, and it's not going to be that hard. I would really like some more tricks and things to do with the environment, so if any of you have any ideas for that kind of stuff, let me know. Um, but anyways, I'm super happy to have something to, to do. I've been... I've just been thinking so much on what I can do, what's interesting. I was like, oh, I could start a castle, but uh, I didn't really, I don't know. This this is what I like. I love uh, things with stories like this, and, and this looks so cool at night. I don't know how dark it is for you, so I'm going to go to sleep. And I haven't set my spawn here yet. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Sleep, sleep tight. Don't let the bedrock too much. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.